it spills, but I know I speak for everyone here on the production when I say we wouldn't change a single moment. Mm, so tissues, hankies, sleeves at the ready as we take a look back at nine series of Dancing on Ice. Dancing on the Ice really has been a fantastic programme to be a part of. For us, it got us back skating, effectively. They are reunited at last. Torval and Dean! The best thing about it was the fact that they got Torval and Dean. And that's when I knew I am really lucky to be doing this. I think initially both of us thought, oh, wow, this is a big ask. <laughs> How will I ever learn all of this? There are days when you come to the ice and you just feel like you've hit a wall. <laughs> and you just look at them and go, what are we going to do? <laughs> you OK? Yeah. It is the most dangerous show on telly. Let's kick it! But it does make it that much more exciting. Bonnie Langford doing the first ever headbanger. Bonnie's bouncing head, yes. Hit the ice hard. Oh. <laughs> My ankle's broke. I can't believe it. David Seaman dropping his partner on the chin. Jennifer Allison, when she did this bizarre bend, oh she literally kicked herself in the head. Moments like that it brings home the fact that this is very dangerous. It looks like it's dislocated. There's a possibility he might be able to skate. He can skate. And then he comes back out and finishes the show. <laughs> That's dancing on ice. <laughs> Across all the series, they've been standout skaters. Champion 2006, Gainer Faye! There's a great sense of satisfaction. Hold it high! It's a bit cliche, but they feel like our children. Carol and Melanie! Suzanne Shaw! Ray Quinn! Oh. Hayley Tavern! Oh. Sam and Rianne! Oh. Matthew and Nina! It's better than Dan. The worst skater for me would have to be... Andy Peters. He couldn't even fake it till he make it. Joe Pasquale, he just made me laugh so much. I'm a bit of a ladies' man, oh. but only if the gents is shut. <laughs> My boobs fell out, it happens. The worst skater has got to be Todd. <laughs> Todd Carty disappearing down the tunnel will be a moment I will never forget. We were like, where's he gone? Someone pushed him back on. I was really surprised he came back because it was car crash behind there. I fear you're going to leave this competition in a body bag, mate. <laughs> Jason's a great character to have on the panel. He's got some very floral words. It looks like Sergei is flinging around an OAP. You never know what's going to come out. Your smile makes you look demented. I don't know whether the ice has frozen your face or it's too much Botox. The sensuality of a frigid schoolmistress. Hands like a Mickey Mouse watch. A baboon bum. Walrus on ice. Like a man in drag. <gasps> and everyone's booing him. Fortunately, you come out dancing like a tiny top. <laughs> Jason, you, you really are so offensive. What did I say that was so wrong? But the minute he says something's great, the audience go wild. Even Jason loved it. <laughs> there it is. That's the girl we love. That, my boy, is Dancing on Ice. <laughs> to be the final champion of Dancing on Ice will be an amazing achievement. It'll last forever. I know these guys, and I know they want to win so desperately, and they're going to fight hard to make that happen. I can't quite believe that this is it. I'm really going to miss it. I'm really going to miss it. I will just be proud, proud of what we did. I will miss seeing some of the most incredible production numbers.
I will miss the glitz and the glamour. And above all, I'm going to miss working with Torval and Dean. I'd say there probably will be a few tears for everyone on our last night. Of course, it's sad for us that we have just been so happy that we've been able to share our passion with people at home. And, you know, we treat this as a celebration. Winning the Olympics is obviously a highlight, but being able to go into people's front rooms every Sunday night and they're watching and we're entertaining has been the most wonderful experience of our lives. It's, it's our legacy. You're right. How, uh, how does it feel getting to this day? Well, you know, it has, as we said on, on the BT, it's been a big part of our lives. And we're going to miss it. Who would have thought all those years ago the impact this show would have had on all of us at home and, of course, you two? <laughs> Listen, I'm in my back pocket, just in case, I've got some tissues. There you, are. There you go. There you go. Um, we, I'll uh, take that one for later, thanks. <laughs> got uh, one person we need, to, uh, we need to bring out, actually, uh, a little something to remind them of us. Here's Holly. <laughs> to capture those magical memories that you've created for us over the years. Thank you for everything. You can <laughs> have a good... cup all the time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional stuff. Holly, thank you for oh, coming. Oh, no, you're evening, absolutely right. welcome. Let's see, oh, do we keep hold it? of this for you? There we go. There's one each, actually. Okay. So <laughs> five, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't have done it without them. Uh, one more time, the incredible Jane Torval and Christopher Dean. <laughs> and thank you, Holly. There's still one last thing to do on our last ever show, and that is, of course, to crown our last ever champion. Your votes have been pouring in for both of our amazing finalists, but now the lines are closed. Please do not call now, as your vote won't count. That's it. You have chosen your last ever winner, and we'll tell you who it is after the break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>